Welcome to Growth Mindset. Ideas to make you thrive, both as an individual and a business. I hope you've been having a wonderful week thus far and you are staying safe and you are keeping social distancing and you are also minding and keeping to the guidelines that the government is giving for us so that we can overcome the challenges of this season. Last week, I spoke about the need for you and I to be able to understand what are the skills companies are looking out for. LinkedIn last year did a survey and they came with this shopping list of these top five soft skills and the top ten soft skills that their survey revealed are critical skills for this year and beyond. The truth is, all of these skills are very important. However, if you look at the 10 hard skills, something should be beckoning on you that there is a changing job profile that is emerging for which you need to be able to go and acquire those disciplines or those skills. So it doesn't matter where you are now, what you've read or what your uh, primary or your initial study is. If you look at those 10 hard, those 10 hard skills, they are skills that you need to go for, whatever your domain is, so that you can be able to know how to thrive and survive in the emerging workplace of today and tomorrow. But there was one skill I also did not mention, and that skill is project management. Today, you need to have a project management mindset so that you can quickly accomplish the task, the goals that you've set for yourself. What does project management skill help you and I to do? It helps you to break that task into chunks so that you are able to see the path and the things you need to do to be able to accomplish that task or attain that goal, that desired destination within the period you have to do. So it's important for you to know that amongst all the skills that I am sharing with you here, project management has become a very important skill for you to have. So today I am going to talk about growth mindset characteristics as I conclude but before I share with you what I want to talk about today in concluding the Growth Mindset series, I want to share this video with you and I'm hoping we'll look at it and come back and be able to see the learning points we can learn from this video. Now, what can we learn from that video? You could see the number of times Arat will say, the young girl you saw trying to mount that stool. See the number of times she made attempts to jump onto the stool. And the number of failures she experienced, or the number of misses she had. But she never gave up. 
together with the support she had from her father. You could see the determination that she had. She never gave up. It looked impossible. So what I'm asking you and what I want to talk about today in today's session is how do you see setbacks? How do you see failure? How do you see delays? If we look at the example we just, the video we just uh, watched, what lessons can we take from that short video about art? Every time she failed climbing, jumping onto the stool, it was a wake-up call. What was that wake-up call? Was it timing? Was it a takeoff? Was it concentration? Every time you have a setback or you experience failure, it is a wake-up call for you. People with growth mindset see it as a wake-up call. They don't go on whining and complaining. They see it as a wake-up call. How do you see failure or setbacks or delays? They also see it as an opportunity for them to develop their resilience to setback, to situations, to circumstances. People with growth mindsets see failure or setbacks or delays as an opportunity to develop their resilience. So every time you have a, a setback, how do you see it? Because the way you and I see setbacks will determine the energy we carry to progress or otherwise. They also see it as an opportunity to learn. Let's say you experience a major failure. What can we learn from this? You and I have experienced one failure or the other in the course of our life's journey. How you see it, how I see it, will determine what is going to happen next. How we are going to overcome the next hurdles that are ahead. So people with growth mindset, they see failure or delays as an opportunity to learn or a wake-up call to learn or as an opportunity to develop our resilience to situations that are defying our expectations or that are defying our efforts towards accomplishing set goals that you and I may have. So that's why I'm telling you, just like someone said, that the only failure is not to try. If you don't make an effort, if you don't take that job, if you don't take that leap, if I don't take that leap, that is the only time that failure becomes almost permanent and filled with regret. But for every effort that I make, and peradventure I experience setback or failure. It tells me there are lots of things for me to learn from it, and it helps me in developing my resilience skills. So, as I end this growth mindset series, ideas that will make you try. What I am trying to tell you is people with growth mindset see their traits as just the starting point and that these traits can be developed further through dedication, hard work and effort. It is not an opportunity that tells me that I cannot accomplish the goal that I have in mind or overcome the obstacle that I have or because I've made a mistake, I am not going to move forward. No. What it is telling me, it is telling me that because I have a growth mindset, okay, I will not mind by putting more effort, by putting more hard work and more effort. Because for every setback that I experience, for example, it enables me to learn. It enables me to see improvement opportunities. It also enables me to do what? To grow 
my resilient skills to be able to bounce back, to be able to go and confront the issue that is creating a stumbling block for me in accomplishing the goals that I have set. If you look at Arat, the video we watched earlier, she never gave up. She kept trying. And luckily for her, she has a father to act as a support system to keep encouraging her. So if you have a growth mindset, part of what which I had discussed some time ago, you also need to have is to have who is that support system that is around you or who are those support systems that are around you that will help you in your life's journey at every stage in your life. So it's important for you to know this. We all have our different trajectory to climb to our destinations of expectation. But the most important thing is the kind of mindset that we bring to bear on it. So, as you go next week and beyond, and as I conclude this Growth Mindset Series characteristics, I am wishing you all the best, and I know you will try. Once again, go and try. Congratulations.